Good morning, Titans, and welcome back. It's Monday, January 16th, 2023, and you're here with your host, Abigail. Now over to Canada in prayer. Good morning, Holy Trinity. Today we begin with a statement acknowledging the land on which we gather. We acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and the Anishinaabe nations. We recognize that the Brand Haldeman Norfolk Catholic District School Board and its schools have many ties to Six Nations of the Grand River and Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations, situated on the traditional land of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe, within the two Wampum and the One Dish, One Spoon Treaty areas. As a Catholic learning community and its treaty people ourselves, we strive to build the kingdom of God, where all people are treated with respect and dignity as we move forward as allies towards truth and reconciliation. Good morning, everybody. Uh, last Friday, uh, I kind of wandered into the library, and I noticed there was a lot of people studying over, um, uh, over their prep, prep periods. Uh, I guess they're, it's their uh, spares. Uh, in the library, and I thought that was really, uh, I was kind of reflecting on that, and I was like, yeah, you know, uh, growing up, I never really studied with anybody, but, you know, we were made for community, and to be in communion with one another, and we were also not meant to do things by ourselves, right, and so when it comes to things like prayer, you know, this is why we pray every morning over and out, since we're not meant to do things on our own, and we support each other by praying together, we support each other for praying for one another, and we also draw on the lives of the saints and, and, inter and ask for their intercession in order to not be all alone on our faith journey. You know, and even Martin Luther King Jr., whose day uh, we celebrate today, uh, he didn't even do the things that he did on his own. You know, he was surrounded by people who supported him. And so today, we just uh, ask for intercession as we, uh, as we kind of journey towards our exam time. We, we can uh, maybe ask for some saints to sort of guide us and you know, help us maybe not feel like we're all on our own and to give us the strength that we need to uh, persevere in our studies right up until the end. So if you can join me, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, we just pray for peace in our hearts. We just pray that uh, all that we've worked towards so far this semester can come to fruition with our due diligence in these last few days of, of uh, school in semester one. And we just pray for the intercession of the saints, maybe especially for the intercession of of Jesus' mother Mary, who brings about peace and can help guide the direction of our lives as her life was guided significantly by Jesus as well. As we pray all together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Games Club will be hosting a Euchre tournament the week of February 13th to 17th over lunches. If you are interested in signing up your team of two, you can do so in Chap Ian's office, room 205, next to the chapel. If you are interested in joining, but don't know how to play this card game, or need a refresher, there will be practice matches going on Tuesdays and Wednesdays over lunch in room 149 up until the tournament. 
Today at the CAF, their specials are chicken noodle soup for $3.75 and cheese tortellini for $5.75. That's all for me, Titans. Now over to host Charnish Curry. Morning, Titans. Um, a couple of quick things. Uh, first, we've tried the gentle reminders. So now I'm progressing to the less gentle reminders. There is no food or drink in the library unless you are there for detention. We recognize if you're there for detention and you're in the cubicle area, you need to eat. But we really cannot have food and drink over by the computers for obvious reasons. Things get spilled and sticky on keyboards and we rely on those computers for our classes in the afternoon. Um, the second item that I want to talk to you about kind of goes along with what Chap Ian was talking about in terms of living in community. One of the reasons I am so grateful to work at a Catholic school is that I can use my own gospel values and Catholic social teachings when I'm trying to explain our expectations and standards for our students. So when we talk about gospel values, there are so many stories in the Bible of how Jesus welcomed all, especially those who society might consider outsiders. Um, to go along with that, I just want to briefly talk about what a slur is and why we don't use them. <laughs> because we've been seeing an increasing number of students who are using what I would call a slur, which is taking somebody's, a part of somebody's identity and turning it into an insult. And when we see that in the office, we do um, implement school-based consequences because we are an inclusive and welcoming community and you can't take something about who someone is and turn it into something bad, okay? If I walked around throughout the school and all of a sudden the hot insult in the building was instead of saying that's so stupid, people said that's so churnish, over a period of time, that's going to start to give me extremely negative feelings about who I am. So when you use the bad words I talked about in the beginning of the year that take who somebody is and make that an insult, it is harmful to the community that we represent and to the community that we're trying to build here. So typically, if someone comes down to us and it's a first offense, we would be looking at a school-based consequence. If it happens uh, more than once, it's obvious that the school-based consequence has not helped you understand the damage that you're doing to the community. So we would be looking at an outside of school consequence. So, we want to make sure everybody's aware that that's what's happening because we've got a lot of kids coming like, why is it just me or everybody says this? Well, everybody might say it, but we need to change how that language is used and make it so everybody understands the implication and that it's wrong. So everybody shouldn't say it. And just because everybody does, doesn't make it right. As my parents would say, if everybody jumped off a bridge, would you? Clearly not. Uh, the last thing I need to do, and it fits in with our equity and belonging piece, is briefly introduce this short video. Today is Martin Luther King Day in the States, um, and this video explains the significance of Martin Luther King. Have a great day, Titans. Over to the promo. I have a dream that my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream to 